Think I, I think I might have a fucking problem. Pushing out of rolling marijuana. Thinking about getting more to the bank, but they won't let me in because I smell like dang. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. YouTube, what it be like? It's your boy Fo and bro, we are back on that NBA Live 19. In today's video, I want to talk about how I grind a few of the traits on my bills after the shot contest patch. All right. Now, if you're new to my channel, please like and sub. Hit that notification bell as well so you can know when we post or on that grind to 5K. As soon as we hit 5K, we'll do a raffle giveaway. So you want to stick around for that. Also. Bro, NBA Live 20 is on the way, so we'll definitely be uploading a ton of content for that. I know a lot of y'all are coming around as well. Most people that play live probably play Madden, so you know my channel has fire Madden content at the beginning of the year, like the first two, three months of the, the Madden season every year. So that's definitely coming around, but we'll upload a ton of fire Madden content and 2Ks on the way, so we'll be doing that as well. Now... First and foremost, we want to do this in streets, and you can probably tell by the team that we're playing against. It's on the first level of streets. This is the actual first game of streets. Now, I delete and make so many players because of the best build videos that I do. Um, I'm constantly having to make players and grind all over again. I want to have a shooting build because I hadn't been playing with just a pure shooting build in a while. So I made another wing shooter, and I have to grind the traits over now i'm gonna show you two different methods in this video because really we want to get these traits on goal as quickly as we can with the new shot contest patch i put a video out about how just wildly inconsistent it is sometimes they'll be on the side of you you got a clear look at the basket and it still counts as a contested shot and you'll miss shots just for no reason especially when you're trying to grind something like way back and it can be really frustrating against the computer i'll just show you an easy way to do that and then i'll show you how to grind late to the party where you need contested shots but the contested the shot buff creates a scenario where you end up missing a lot of shots so I'll show you a couple of different ways now um, with way back you also can grind catch and shoot you could also grind open three you could also grind quick trigger you could also grind rhythm shooter with that method and then with the late to the party you could grind something like open two as well now before we like start the game i also want to mention the team that i'm playing with so I think there needs to be just a central theme of extremely high on ball defense. So at point guard, you need this to be a great defender, but also have some size and strength over his matchup. So that way he can stop the ball, make them pick it up a lot and pass it. So I put Jimmy Butler right there. I kept Dwayne Wade at the slasher, he, uh, at the shot guard. He's normally my uh, shot guard because he plays great defense and he blocks shots like a fucking center, bro. And then uh, I have Paul George. He's going to play like my um, my stretch four in a sense because he's just going to be really athletic a lot faster than Dirk. And he's a better defender than Dirk. So he's tall enough to still grab rebounds and block shots. And then you can see we have a nice big man in the middle that can alter shots and make them turn it over really easily. Now, um... I'm going to go ahead and start the game, and then once we get into the game, I'm, I'm just going to edit this part out where it's low. We're going to show you basically like what I like to do. So for late release and late to the party, I just get in the mid-range, and then you'll see me shoot a fade. I don't even have to have high post moves to do that shit, and what that's going to do for me is that's going to create a scenario where I'm getting a two-pointer with good timing that I need for late release. But then I'm also getting the, um, and look, you see him block the shot, throw it down, I get a free three. And that's the, this is in principle, like, like what we're doing. That's a great sequence of everything that happened. So we'll, 
like if I get in the post and shoot the fade, late to the party activates and late release can activate. Or even if I hit the shot with good timing, it still counts towards my late release. So I'm working on those two badges. But then ideally what you want to do is just let them play defense by themselves. That's why you want to have good defenders. So they'll play defense by themselves and then you just stand down here and wait to get an open shot. So that's really all it is and if they for whatever reason score it's fine you could just go to the post and look that go Dwayne Wade with a block shot so that's what I'm talking about look Dwayne Wade with two block shots now we're able to throw it back down was Jimmy Butler just made a bad pass I was standing in a bad spot though I couldn't see where I was but that's all you really want to do if they happen to score like in this case, you see they score, then it's fine. I just go into half court offense and then I, I work on my post badges instead. Oh my god. I tapped the button on accident. So see, we just go right back into doing that same thing that we were doing before in the half court. Now I'm just gonna stand right here, let them play defense. And then we should be good. Same exact thing. Now I'm good. Go right back into the half court. Green it again. Work towards those badges. So no matter what, I'm getting some kind of badge progress. And then, like I said, bro, all it is is making sure. See, they get a steal. I get a free three. Boom. It's that simple. So now I'm working on all these badges at one time pretty much every time down the court because I have a method for it. And remember, you see how Jimmy Butler making them pick up the ball with size? That's what I was talking about before. It's about just making them pick up the ball because he's bigger than his opponent. They're gonna double me up. So I just need to catch it. Oh, well see, I didn't get a chance to do it. What you wanna do is and I shot it a little bit too quick what you want to do when they start doubling you if you want to work that post you want to go ahead hold L2 get in the post like real quick and just go ahead and turn it fade don't worry about the position of it so we're going to do it again so you see me it's like I'm posting them up See, we hot, so we knocked it down easy. I let it go too early, but we'll still knock it down. If you got a shooter like that, it's going to be easy to do it. So now we get a block shot. We back down court with it. Boom. Tray ball. And you see the game almost over with. So you don't really have to deal with the double teams that long. Because they won't double team you until you get past uh, 10 points. So once you get like 12 or more, if you scored all of them, they'll start guarding you and double teaming you. And then you kind of got to deal with it. You can see we almost get it right there. Look at Joker with that shot block though. See, now we're going to end up with another tree. And there we go. That's how you end the game, bro. It's... It's really that simple, but now I get badge progress, like either way I go. And the game didn't take that long for me to end. Some games, they'll play such good defense will all your shots will be way back shots because they'll just make them turn it over every single time. Sometimes the other team will score a little bit more, so you'll play from the post a little bit more. But this is a good way to do it. Like, yeah, honestly, I just feel like this is the best way to do it. I mean, especially if you're playing with a non-shooting bill where you have maybe like a backcourt defender, it makes it really easy to get open three and way back or catch and shoot, any of those things that you may need because you just get wide open looks and you don't have to can, you don't have to deal with that shot contest buff. Now, as far as your mid-range game, I prefer if you have more like an 85 or 95, but keep in mind that if, you're, if you want to focus on like open three, way back, 
back, rhythm shooter, quick trigger, all of that in the very beginning. Just work on those and get the open shots. Then after that, you could take those traits off, then add something back like post mastery that'll help you in the mid range. So that way you'll get an even bigger shot buff so that you can green light those mid range shots. If you have something like an 88 mid range, or if you can get it up to like a 76, something like that, that'll still help you. So like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you can know when we post and as always respect the OGs peace